M0FXP, Bofun DM32. Let's upload firmware version 39. We've got the CPS here. All the links are in the description. And to make sure we're reading and writing, let's go right click device manager. We've connected the cable to our radio and our PC. And we're looking up the COM port number. So right click device manager, double click ports. And it's COM53. I know it's high, but that's what mine is. So then we go to settings com and we just make sure that we've got com and 53 okay and we click okay so now let's just read so we'll program read data and then we're just going to making sure that our radio is reading and writing mm -hmm. and you can see there that it's just read that no problem at all and you can see all my memory channels that's fine we've also well, i'll put a link in the description if we go to my files and look in my dm32 we've got bin 39 at the moment we are actually version 37 you can look this up by going menu go down to settings and then device info version and it says 37 so back out so at the top here it says we go to tool it says firmware upgrade which we've got here we'll put the radio into firmware mode turn it off push the ptt and the button underneath so these this one and this one and turn on and the screen stays black no, it's hard to see that and you've got a green led at the top so we're in firmware mode okay now we're going to hit upgrade oh i think we have to go let's just go program uh tools firmware i think we have to select usb so let's go settings com instead of com here we just do usb okay click ok then we'll go tool firmware open and I've got it in my desktop, the firmware. So let's find that. Let's go up to your desktop, like so. And we're looking for the firmware file, which I've got in DM32. There it is there, 39. I'm going to go upgrade. And hopefully something's going to happen. There you go slower than i expected but it's it's flashing away and then not tonight because it's getting quite late but we'll be exploring if there's any changes to the radio but you know it's a fantastic device a lot of people it's what well, it's sold out after my videos it literally sold out in about a week which is pretty amazing it's VHF, UHF, it does airband really clear, plus several other bands. It works great on DMR. At the moment, we're only seeing 50,000 contacts, but it does have talker alias, so that's a biggie. So just the key things to remember is that we selected USB and that we held down the PTT and the button underneath, turned on the radio, and that put it into upgrade mode. Then we selected the file that you're going to have a link to in the description and we've gone from 37 to 39 okay keep an eye on the radio let it's booting up and i know it's a little bit blurry but if we go menu settings device info version and it clearly says i'm sorry it's so dark but it clearly says 39 backing out very pleased with that let's see if i can get my node uh, oh we're in digital mode i think i'm going to do more videos tomorrow because it's been a very long day today thanks for watching the upgrade of the dm32